Hey everyone, welcome to my video. So today's video we're going to be doing a review of the um, new Fenty Beauty Collection that Rihanna came out with. Now originally um, I had no intentions whatsoever of buying anything from this collection. Not because I don't love Rihanna, because I do. But there are just so many things coming out right now that I wanted. Um, I was trying to, <laughs> trying to cap myself on my spending. Um, but I decided to go to Sephora and just kind of see what it was about. Um, you know, nobody knew exactly what everything was. Uh, it was kind of hush hush. So I went in store and they're like, oh, well, we're doing free makeovers with the line. Would you like to do that today? And I was like, oh yeah, of course. Why not? That's the best way to test it out rather than me having to buy it, take it home, test it out, see if it works. Um, so I went ahead and I did that and I was able to wear, um, wear it all day long. I actually even took a small power nap on the couch because I was just so tired. Um, so I have my thoughts about what happened um, to everything that I wore that day, but we'll get into that a little bit later. So. Um, I am going to actually apply everything myself. This is definitely my first video kind of doing this on camera, so just bear with me, please. Um, I am going to be in the shade 130. The color selection for these foundations is amazing. She came out with 40 different shades. That is mind-boggling. You know, some people, they only come out with a couple products here and there. She came out with a whole bunch of different items and I think that is amazing. I think her selection for the color range for the foundation is absolutely amazing. Um, if somebody can get it right, Rihanna is definitely going to be one of those people that gets it right. Um, so let's just go ahead and get started. Now I did, <laughs> once again, I was not going to pick up any brushes in this line um, but the guy that had actually applied all my makeup was using this brush and it feels so freaking good I fell in love with this and it is just so soft the way it applies foundation I was extremely impressed with I would typically never spend 30 something bucks on a brush but I honestly believe that it felt that good on the skin so I did purchase this um, so this is what it looks like if you follow me on Instagram I did have um, shots of it that day if I can get it out of the package that would be great oh that's why hello Alright, so it does come with a slip here. I don't know if you can see, but it does say FB on here. A nice little touch for Fenty Beauty. Um, it does have the brand's name on it as well. It's got a really nice weight to it. I really like the way that it feels in my hands. And then pull this right off, and this is your brush. And it is just, it is dense enough to move around the foundation, and it is soft enough to feel really, really good on the skin. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so one of the things I do wanna tell you about this foundation that the guy told me is he told me it dries very, very fast. So you definitely want, don't wanna do your whole entire face. You wanna take it little pieces at a time, unless you are just that fast at applying foundation, which I am not. So I'm definitely gonna to have to take it in sections. Um, and it does say to shake well, so let is shake away. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. Shake your booty. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just playing. Okay. Okay, so I think that is going to do it. 
Um, now, this foundation does oxidize, so I did go obviously a shade lighter because as soon as it oxidizes, it will actually be the most perfect foundation color I have found to date. Um, sorry, my music's probably super loud. Uh, mm, here he comes. Mr. Lawnmower Guy. Like, I thought they were supposed to do any of this stuff, like, during the day. This is, like, almost 6 o'clock at night. <sighs> okay. So, the color does oxidize, so you might want to th consider that when going to pick a foundation color. Um, you might want to get one shade lighter, so when it does oxidize, it will look the right color. Um, but to date, this has got to be the closest uh, foundation color I have ever found because I am actually extremely light skinned however I am olive and yellow at the same time and for me that's very makes it very very hard uh, just because a lot of the lighter um, foundations I find um, happen to be make my face look pink and uh, that on top of my yellow skin does not work out very well so this is absolutely stunning I am so in love with this but I still have to get my face a little bit of warmth the other things I picked up were the matchsticks uh, this is the package that they come in they do stick together they are magnetized um, I actually kind of like that just because I can set these together and not lose them um, so I got the colors ivory and French vanilla French vanilla I'll use more of a little bit of contour um, and then the ivory I will be using um, underneath my eyes. All right, so we are starting with French vanilla. <laughs> Sorry, I can't tell which angle to come from. Okay, so I don't like, I don't know how he did it, but I don't like this brush for this, so I'm gonna take my Dampen Beauty Blender. Let's see if I could do a little bit of a better job. Okay, so I had, I had a little bit of trouble with this. Um, it it kind of seemed to remove some of the foundation, so I actually had to go back over that just a little bit. Um, like I said, I didn't use the brush, I used the Beauty Blender, so it should not have done that. So, I don't really know what the deal is. <laughs> I like, you know, how it gave me a little bit of warmth in this area, but as far as up here, I don't like that. I don't like how it applied up here. I do like how it applied right here. It kind of brought, brought warmth back into my cheeks, which I, I do like that. So, I'm kind of on the fence about that. All right, so let's go ahead and do the under eyes with the... Ivory. Okay. Now that one blended out really nicely. Um, I do ha like how it kind of brightened right underneath here. Um, that's very nice. Huh. Ooh. Oh yeah, I can see a difference. I don't know if you can on camera, but I definitely can. Oh, that one little spot. Hmm. Um, he will have to excuse the bags underneath my eyes. I have not been sleeping well. I don't know why I cannot fall asleep. Um, 
but anyways but the color correction is very 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 nice I really enjoy this stick for underneath my eyes it just it really looks nice I really like that all right so I'm gonna go ahead and throw on the rest of my face um, and then we'll come back and do the highlighter Dance party's over. Oh, they just played so many good songs at once. Okay, so I am back and uh, the foundation is looking pretty good. I know I can see my screen and it doesn't look as good on the screen as it does in person, but it, in person it looks very, very nice. Okay, so for highlighters, I have two that I picked up. I have Mean Money and Hustler Baby. This is what I was wearing yesterday. Um, I posted a pic on Instagram yesterday. And this is what I had on my cheeks. There's the colors right there. So they are both highlighters, but this side right here is definitely more of a sheen. Let me see if I can show you. All right, see that right there? You see how this side is definitely brighter than this side? I don't know if that was meant to maybe start with this and then put this on top of it, but I don't know. I, I don't know how I feel about that. So uh, this color is beautiful. I really enjoyed this. Um, but let's go to the other one. The other one is Girl Next Door and uh, Chick Freak. Um, this is a more of a rosy tone highlighter. This is definitely the lightest. There was another one that was darker than this one, but it was definitely too dark for my skin tone. So, can you see that? I'll do one more. My lighting is terrible, so you're not always going to have the best swatches until I get some good lighting. So, there's your first two. There's your second two. Alright, so I am actually going to put on uh, Chick Freak. Now, I think I'm going to go ahead and start. Oops. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and start with this one and then work to that one and see what that looks like. And I'm going to use my Real Techniques brush. That is the, the side that is sheen. Still definitely gives a really nice glow. All right, so let's go to the other side. Ooh. You see that? That is really, really pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, so let's go over my thoughts. Um, <clears throat> let's start with the foundation. So like I said, it does dry fast, which kind of makes it a little hard to work with. <clears throat> but the colors are beautiful i absolutely love this color i think it's one of the best foundation colors um, that i have for my skin um, you do get 1.08 fluid ounces which i think for the price is really good um i was expecting this sucker to be like 40 to 50 bucks but rihanna kept it real and she kept it reasonable um this is only $34, so I am really, really impressed with this. I really do like the way this looks. Um, like I said, the colors are beautiful. I did get to wear this all day long. Um, I actually had this put on my face at 10 o'clock in the morning, and I didn't take it off till almost 10 o'clock at night. And like I said, I had taken a power nap 
<laughs> on the couch because I was just so freaking tired um, and it didn't budge. It still looked flawless. So this definitely lasts all day long. I was running errands and doing this and doing that and I was just busy, busy, busy and it lasted through all of it. So this foundation is a plus. If you can find your color, pick this up because this is worth it. All right, for the match sticks. So I am on the fence about these. <sighs> I really wanted to like these. Um, the color ivory, I really like what it did to underneath my eyes. It definitely did brighten and kind of color correct. So I will more than likely keep this one. This French vanilla, um, I really wanted this to work because the color is beautiful and I can see what it does but I don't like the way this applied. Um, I don't know what happened. I, I definitely, I'm gonna try it again before I end up taking it back. Um, but I put this on, I went in with a beauty blender and it just kind of, it became really, really patchy and just kind of messed up my foundation so I had to go back and fix that. So I can't say that I'm completely impressed with this one. I'm definitely gonna give it another test. Um, but as of right now, I really just wanna take this back and get my money back. So keep, take back. All right. Um, the brush. <sighs> I really enjoy this brush. It is so soft. Like, I knew I had to get it. Now, like I said, I was not planning on getting any brushes, okay? But, this. Yes. Okay, so the highlighters. I am in love with these highlighters. Um, I do like that they are buildable. I do like that they give you a sheen one, which is still plenty pigmented. So it's good for maybe a day at the office. Um, and then they have one that is definitely uh, more high shine that you can definitely put on top. Um, and I, once again, was able to wear this all day. And this survived my nap. It survived just like the foundation from all day, 10 o'clock in the morning till 10 o'clock at night. Um, it was beautiful. It did not budge. So <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm so glad I purchased both. These are absolutely stunning. All right, guys. So that is it for everything. Um, some really, really great products that she came out with some products that definitely not too sure about um the powder they did use on my face during my sephora trip um i really didn't see a point in getting that powder it does the same thing any other powder can do so that was a pass for me um blotting paper don't really use that so i'm not gonna buy that the lip gloss i will say the lip gloss it felt really nice on the lips it was not sticky at all but it really is just a clear lip gloss it looked like I had nothing on my lips, my lips were just shiny. So I definitely didn't invest my money in that. I I passed. Um, just because I'm not going to buy a clear lip gloss. If I get a lip gloss, I definitely want there to be some sort of color. Um, if there was a little bit of a hint of color in there, it was the same color as my lips, and that just wasn't for me. So other than that, I think this line is really good. You should definitely check it out. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below for future videos. I have a lot of videos coming your way, especially with the holiday season coming up. I know I do have a giveaway that I am planning. Um, it's going to be quite exciting. So you guys have a great night and I will see you on the next video. Bye.